you to me. How dare you point that thing at me? Stop with the emotions. You don't love me. You love what I represent. You love being the... Dude, do you even have a penis? Or are you one of those hermaphrodites born without genitals? Tricks up our sleeves, huh? Fools! <laughs> Just a nightclub singer with a broken heart. I you still suck love you, you too. Yeah. Hold on to yourself. You're in over and your head you and you're up here. What are you doing? Nothing. Really? Because I keep hearing a math for like this, a cop that. Go away. What? You know, go watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you. What the fuck? Disrespectful little asshole. I can't believe you did that. That's my TV. You don't talk to me like that. I can't believe you. Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole. Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides, just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want, to be hit by your son? Yeah. No. I just want you to do something. Besides, sit there, eating. Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah, well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Hey, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Bike ride, then. Bike ride? You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. Uh, fuck me. A bike ride along the Spucci Beach? Okay, Dad, I got just the thing to show you. This day was going so well until you showed up, you know that? Ugh! Well, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house after that boat stuck. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. How Jimmy. am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuck-based? Don't push me. Seriously, some guys borrow your bow. Borrow? You were hiding in the head crying kidnapped. They just took receipt of your property with payment pending. If it was anything other than what you told me, then that's on you. All right, they fucking stole it. And who knows what they would have done if they found me. But I didn't expect or want them to get killed. You think I'm going to let some guys ride off with my son? Look, I knew you were a bad guy, but... Oh, a bad guy. A crook, a killer, a thief, a liar. I guess I've been all those things one time or another, right? It's just... What? I always thought I was the good guy. God help the morally bankrupt planet your generation have left us if you're the good guy. Yeah. Anyway... I always knew you were the kind of person who didn't let other people get in the way, but... I hadn't, like, seen that happen before. Yeah, well, that's me, Jim. And I've been trying my best to get things under control for the last ten years. But that was an extreme fucking situation, and I had to act. A normal person wouldn't have done that. Yeah, well, I had to. To protect you. Yeah, keep telling yourself that when you see their faces every time you close your eyes. Yeah, what's crack? Here we are, the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force of habit. Oh, I'm just chilling out. Hey, you! Two bikes. Take your pick. Yo, thanks. This one'll do. If I make it to the end of the pier first, you're gonna buy me a big ass new flat screen. End of the pier, fine. But if you lose, you're gonna do something with your life. Hey, Pop. You're such a health nut, you should do a triathlon or some other midlife crisis.
crisis nonsense. If I have a heart attack, it's your fault! Now, let me think. What am I gonna do with all that spare TV money? <sighs> Lie down, old man! It's not the winning, James. It's the taking part that counts. <laughs> oh, I'm about to pass out. When I wake up, please let this nightmare be over. You killed my best friend, you bastard. This is for him. I'm real. I never fight with the man who marked my flat screen. Don't give up, even though you're losing. You're buying your old TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford, so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs. This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck. Ah! Dad, wait! Dad, come on now. Hey, Plus, we're taking you out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. What? Your house? Yeah. Man, you gotta kill her bad, man. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Let's go. <laughs> Those walls can talk. You think I do it? Hey! No! Hey! Shit, ain't Daddy. cool, man. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey! Oh, hey. Oh, oh, man! Go. I like that! What's problem? You're such a oh, jerk! Come on! Dad, you dumbass! These guys are serious! Yeah, well, so am I! Let's go to the scene of my fucking boat! Oh, motherfuckers! Get on! Now! I'm about to skin you alive! God damn it! Go! Just injured. They're shooting. They're having shooting. We'll lose them if we keep going this way. You killed them. Oh my God! This isn't happening. Just calm down. I did what I had to do. Let me take you back to your brother. I'm an accessory to murder. No, you're not. You're an. 
accessory to self-defense. Have I, like, got to be a witness because I, I, like, did some blow? You did blow? Yeah, I did some blow, and that might, like, make my testimony inadmissible. You're not admissing anything. There won't be a trial unless you're on a trial for doing blow. After you ruined my day, stole my friendship, capped them, and I'm the one on trial? They started it. And we wouldn't be in this mess if you hadn't hung out with some creepy-ass porno people and done blow! Ugh! You didn't know I did blow until I told you I did blow, so this should be like an increase in trust and honesty thing. And porno dudes are like the best dudes I can be with. Porno dudes? Really? Yeah, they actually respect women and treat us right. It's Los Santos, Dad. What do you expect when we moved here? Enough! This conversation is over! Keep hiding your head in the clouds. The 50s are over. Even the 80s are over. See, that's the problem. Because they're not over in my head. Well, grow up! my TV and he took me to the beach. The beach with my skin. So what, you send him out to spoil my day too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you. I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like he gets sometimes and he just went. I'm getting a cab. I'm coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life. Downturn's really getting to me, you know? I know what you're saying. <laughs> Yeah, who's this? It's Ricky from Life Invader. I know you're the bro who deactivated Jay, bro. <laughs> oh, I have no idea what you're talking about, pal. Hello, what yeah. you do is your business, bro. Anyway, Jay really got a big head once people started calling him a god. Guess you proved he wasn't one. They reintegrated my team in Burundi after the design got signed off. And now, my shares ain't worth dick. Sorry about that. I need work. And I thought maybe you could provide. I mean, I'm smart enough to track yeah, you down, whatever. aren't I? I guess you are. Hey, I'll be in touch if anything comes up. I'm staying in the 314. No home shrink. Oh, jeez. Excuse me. Come in, Michael. Uh, yeah, thanks, Doc. How have you been? Oh, good. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? I'm not good, Doc. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I just... 
I'll be caught up in the bullshit, Doc. You know, ever since I pulled this Mexican's house off a hill, it's been nothing but killing and robbing. And I hooked up with this old associate. I even got a new one, too, this kid. With, I don't know, he has similar proclivities. <laughs> no. Oh, God. Now everything's out of control. I mean, but it's not by choice. You know, I just, my life just got away from me. That sounds a lot like denial, Michael. This is really worrying. So, any other violent urges, friend? Things have really been up and down, Doc. I mean, one minute I'm fine, the next the fucking red mist descends. I can't seem to help myself. These are the classic symptoms of your condition, Michael. You're very ill. I really just want to be happy, Doc. Is that so bad? Okay. And what about your sexual behaviors? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. Not since my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. <laughs> I'm not exactly enjoying myself here. You know, what I'm addicted to is not getting killed. But for some reason, I keep getting my ass into situations where getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but that's not for fun. Are you sure? What exactly are you asking, Doc? Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering? Or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules? Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. I'm rich. I'm miserable. I mean, half the time, my kids can't stand me. The other half, my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. Hell, I'm pretty average for this town, really. Wait a minute, that's the shot. I, I, I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. This, I think, no, no, I know that I'm just terrified that I'm I'm sure gonna... you are, but that's really all we have time for. See you next time. Okay.